Hey, how's it going guys? I hope this video finds you well as always. Uh, in this video, we are going to be talking about mutations, what they are and how they work. So these are some uh, I know statements that you should know by the end of this class, by the end of the class. Please know that mutations occur when DNA is changed. Please know that there's going to be two types of mutations, point and friendship. You wanna see what they are. Also, you need to know that mutations in DNA affects the traits of an organism. Uh, so please look at this objective. I'm going to read it for you. It says to identify and illustrate changes in DNA and evaluate the significance of these changes. Always, 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 I tell you to think of this as that essential question. So you can put a can I statement at the very beginning. Can I identify and illustrate changes in DNA and evaluate the significance of these changes? by the end of this class so that's something that you need to keep in mind and please know this information by the end of the class can you answer that question by the end of the class so uh, we're going to be using this graphic organizer throughout the lecture that way we can fill in those blanks and see what the different types of mutations are so first of all let's look at the definition of a mutation it, it says here that mutations are changes in the dna sequence that affects the genetic information so these are going to be errors or mistakes in copying DNA. So whenever there's errors or mistakes uh, in copying the information in DNA, those um, nucleotides, remember that we have A, uh, T, C, and G, which are going to pair T, A, G, C. If there's any mistake, in pairing these bases, then we call those mistakes a uh, mutation, okay, genetic mutation. So the significance of mutations, um, most mutations are going to have little to no effect on the expression of a gene. Please remember that most mutations that occur are not going to have any impact on a specific gene or a specific uh, trait of an organism. Only some of them are going to have a harmful effect so some of the mutations are going to have a harmful effect and these effects can cause uh, a genetic disorder or and cancer um, rarely in some rare occasions the actually mutations can be a, a beneficial to a species uh, because there can be a source of genetic variability in other words it causes more variation in a species many different colors um, of eyes or different colors of hair. Those are all mutations that has have happened over time, uh, yet they just cause variability uh, rather than um, have a negative impact on the species, okay? So just keep that in mind. There's gonna be two types of mutations. There's gonna be point mutation and friendship mutation. So we're gonna put them in here on the organizer that we're gonna be filling out. Um, the first one is gonna be a point mutation. And a pure mutation is a mutation that affects only one nucleotide, right? So in this case that we have CTA, well, if we only change one of those nucleotides to CAT, notice that the only one that I changed here is the T for the A, that is what we call a point mutation. Now, how is that going to be harmful or how is that going to affect the protein that is being made? Well, think about this. If you're going from DNA which is this strand right here, to mRNA, to protein, or to amino acids in this case here. Whoops, kind of skipping a little too far there. So DNA, R mRNA to protein. If we're going to make a protein, notice that changing that, a, that, uh, that T for the A will have an impact on the um, amino acid that we make it in this guy. We in this case we have this amino acid, uh, and we have changed it for VAL. How is that going to have an impact? Well, uh, if there is a different amino acid, that means that the protein could end up being different, and that will be um, in some cases very harmful to the organism having a protein that is doesn't do the job that it is supposed to do. So. Uh, the first type of point mutation that we're going to look at here is substitution. Make sure that you have an example for it in your paper. So substitution, uh, it is when one base is changed 
and that is going to change the amino acid sequence. So only one of the amino acids will be changed by a substitution. In this case, we have AUGUAC as the um, RNA. So this right here is the original RNA or mRNA. Notice that here we have changed that C for a G. So this is going to be the mutated one. Well, originally this coded for these two amino acids. Now it's going to code for a stab codon rather than a uh, this amino acid here. So that is what we call a substitution mutation that has changed the amino acid. In fact, this is actually a, an example of a mutation that we call a non-sense mutation. It is a non-sense substitution mutation. We have substituted one um, letter that changes one amino acid to a stop codon. It's what we call a nonsense mutation. Okay, so the second one is going to be a silent mutation or silent substitution. And a silent substitution is when you changed a, um, a nucleotide, a letter, you change a letter. So in this case, you had the original UAC, but we change that to UAU, but there is no change in the amino acid that that letter codes for. Remember that um, different codons will sometimes code for the same uh, amino acid. Okay, and in this case, it codes for the same amino acid. UAC codes for this amino acid, and then UAU codes for that same amino acid. So you have to keep in mind that coding for the same amino acid is not going to have any impact on the protein and so we're going to call that a silent substitution there's no change in the protein at all um, what are the effects of point mutations we also see that substitutions can change the amino acids at a, um, at the point of the mutation and silent point mutations will change the dna code but you can keep that in mind they do not change the amino acid at all all right so if you take a look at this right here, you can notice that we have changed TAT for TAC, but they both code for the same amino acid. So there's no change in the protein that we are making. And that's an example of a silent mutation. Okay. So we're going to looking at this example here. We see that uh, we have the DNA sequence for both of these. This is a normal DNA, and then here we're going to have a, a one that has a mutation in it. I want you to notice that here you have CTA, and here you have substituted that for TTT. Well, how is that changed in our amino acid? We change this amino acid for that amino acid. So this is an example of a substitution mutation. Uh, the next type of mutation is a frame shift mutation. And if this is a type of mutation that um, is going to have a huge impact sometimes on uh, the protein that we are making. So it says here that mutation shifts the genetic code by inserting or deleting a nucleotide. Uh, this, like I said, can have large effects on the amino acid sequence. So, for example, we have here. A uh, very good example where we have a sequence of uh, a DNA sequence. And this DNA sequence, if we just inserted a C in there, and again, we're inserting it, that means that we're going to keep everything the same except that we're inserting a new letter. Well, now everything has shifted because before you have TGG, now you have TC, the new C there, and then the G has shifted one spot to there. and everything else will be shifted one uh, amino acid to the right so all of our amino acids are going to be totally different from there on okay we have inserted a new letter and you see in there that has shifted all of our codons uh, one letter to the right okay and probably that's going to continue that way so first one is an insertion this is when we insert one letter in. So this is an example that I have here. 
This is the, the original uh, sentence. Let's say we'll uh, try to put a sentence in three letters at a time so that it makes a little more sense to you. It says, the fat cat ate the red rat. So if we insert a Y right next to that A, we inserted a Y in there, well, what is that going to do to our sentence that has to be three letters at a time? Well, it's changed to the fat cat, and then from there on, you can see that it makes absolutely no sense. And that's exactly what happens during an insertion mutation. It's a frame shift insertion because it inserts a letter, and now every single codon has changed. And last one we're going to take a look at is deletion. Again, back to the um, organizer. Deletion is, like the name says, when we delete or remove a base. And if we remove, for example, we have the same sentence, the fat cat ate the red rat. If we remove that T, what is that going to do? Well, everything's going to be shifted this time one letter to the left. So you start your sentence to the fat cat. Now you don't have that T anymore, but you have to shift that A this way. Now everything from their own is not going to make any sense anymore. So this is what we call a deletion. We delete a letter, everything shifts one letter to the left. So every single codon or every single word is not going to pair for this proper amino acid anymore. So this is an example of insertion. If we uh, insert a letter, you know, here we have CTT. Well, if we insert an extra C in there, like this, we'll put an extra C. Now in here, it tells you what happens. Every single um, codon is going to shift one place to the right. And that's what is going to happen is that all of our amino acids are going to be different from there on. And another example is of deletion. We take away one base, so if we take away here, there are four A's, now we take away one A, all of these are gonna to shift to the, to the left, so all of the amino acids from there on are gonna be shifted. That means that every single amino acid will be different from there on, all right? Um, effects of friendship mutations can be very, very harmful. And the last thing is because um, not, you have to keep in mind that when you change amino acids in a protein, then the protein will not do the job that it's meant to do. So some diseases like cystic fibrosis um, and, and tech check disease are different syndromes that can be caused because of frame shift mutations. That can be very, very harmful for uh, the body, can have uh, cause a lot of damage. So uh, if we have to rank them, obviously, I have to tell you that deletions and insertions can be a lot more dangerous uh, most of the times than substitutions are, okay? So these are the three types that we've looked at. Um, make sure that you keep an eye for these. Substitutions is when you just change one base. Um, deletion, well, when you get rid of one of the amino acid, I'm sorry, one of the um, nucleotides, and that's gonna change everything. Uh, and an insertion is when you have inserted a nucleotide where it's not to be, uh, where it's not supposed to be inserted in. All right, I'm going to stop here, guys. Um, I hope that you found uh, the information that you need to know in this video. Please make sure that you always, always, always write a summary about what you've learned. If we're doing, um, if we're doing uh, the essential question and corner notes. So I will see you on the next video.